I'm Jazine. Welcome to my channel, my world, my universe. Okay, so I was inspired to start this channel because I noticed as I was sharing knowledge on Instagram, you guys were like legit, genuinely interested in what I had to share via my experiences. Whether it was career, fitness, faith, or a little bit of beauty, the responses just kept coming in. So, thus birthed this channel. The theme of this channel is inspiration. All right, so I've been researching this whole fitness thing for about two years and talking to a lot of people. So I'm gonna tell you five things your trainer won't tell you, resulting in a waste of your time. I'm just saying. Number one, you need to eat before and after your meal. So the way your body works, it needs energy to pump this iron, to lift, to be able to do the most that it can do, to signal to your muscles and say, hey, we need more of you so that we can lift heavier. We need to grow, okay? If you don't eat, your muscles kind of start depleting because they're like, there's nothing, no energy source for them as you're lifting this heavy muscle. In addition to that, you can't go as hard in the gym. Now, after you work out, you are doing a major disservice to yourself if you do not eat protein after. And carbs, because you have to replenish your body with the carbs that you just lost, refuel it with energy, and then the protein helps feed the muscles and help them to just continue to grow. And like, you know, it's, it's kind of what they need. Number two, you have to stretch before and after. If you are not 21, my friend, you must stretch before and after, because that's how all those injuries happen. And yeah, I know you're thinking, oh, that hasn't happened to me, I'm good, but that one day it does happen, that's gonna suck. Wanna know why? Because you're gonna be out of the gym for more than two weeks, and all it takes is 10 days to start losing muscle. Oh yeah, don't risk it, players. In addition to that, you just get better movement when your uh, muscles are warmed up from a warm up, and then also all stretched out. Don't cheat yourself, guys. Don't cheat yourself, guys. For some background, it's really interesting the way our body works. It all works off of like signals to each other. So like the only reason our muscles grow or deplete is because our body is like, hey, I can't lift this thing. We gotta grow to be able to do it. And then it starts growing. But if you stop working out, you notice how like you lose muscle. It's because your body's like, oh man, thank goodness, we're not lifting anything anymore. So like, we don't need these. Your body doesn't think about what looks good and doesn't hold on to what looks good. Your body just holds on to what it needs to survive. It's always in survival mode. Number three, cardio lasts. So we spoke about like all the carbs that you need for energy, right? So you got that energy in you. The hardest thing to do is to lift weight. So you wanna do that first. And then running, you can kind of use up the rest of your fuel on that. That is the reason why most people suggest doing cardio last. Now I will say, if you just know I'm the type of person, look, I need to do it first, or it's not gonna happen at all, well then in that case, you go ahead and do the cardio first. But just know once again, that once you run out that fuel, it's a lot harder to lift heavier, and once again, signal to those muscles, hey, we gotta grow, because we need to be able to lift this. When they say it's 80% diet, it is 80% diet. I know you've heard this a million times. There's so many trainers out there who are like, well, I'm not a nutritionist when you ask them questions about diet. Personally, I would only get a trainer who could answer my questions on nutrition. Very basic level, but I need you to know something. Give me an answer, not I don't know. With that being said, you could be working out as hard as possible. If you are eating not at a deficit, and let's say you wanna lose weight, and you're not eating at a deficit, you are not gonna lose weight at all. It doesn't matter how hard you're working. And a deficit, by the way, is eating fewer calories than you're burning. Same for building muscle. You gotta eat more than you're burning. 80% diet is key, y'all. 80%, not 50, not 40, 80. Number five, it is so important to learn the full, the exact movement that you're doing and do the full range of movement. Now, yes, you'll definitely see, in some cases, results for just doing the movement, I guess not to its full extent, but it's like, why get half the results if you can get more? Also, if you're looking at your friend who has like these awesome results from the same move, it's probably because they're doing the full extension of whatever they have to do, or with squats. So many people look to squats for their booties to, you know, 
But if you're not bending all the way down, you're not getting the full benefits in your glutes. You're just getting it in your legs. So that squat needs to go straight down to a sitting position, not just barely hitting the sitting position. You gotta do the movement all the way through. And I see so many trainers train people and I'm like, they're doing it the wrong way. Why are you not telling them? I'm so confused about that. So there you have it. I wanted to keep it very short and sweet. Hopefully it was short. At least sweet, right? Those are five things your trainer won't tell you. For more of my loves, my must-haves, my favorites, check out chazinesfavoritethings.com.